this experiment demonstrates the deflection of charged particles in an electric field. The first supply here provides current for the filament which will produce electrons by thermionic emission. It also is connected, the HT is connected across parallel plates to provide a roughly uniform electric field so that we can have a way of deflecting the electrons once they're in there. Between the plates there's a, a film which will fluoresce when electrons strike it. So it will fluoresce blue, that way we have a way of detecting what's happening with the electrons. This all takes place in a vacuum so that air molecules don't obstruct the flow of electrons. And the second supply here, this EHT, is the supply responsible for accelerating the electrons from the filament in, into the electric field. One other thing about the screen, it's at a slight angle to the path of the electrons so that electrons will strike it all the way along the film. That gives us a way of seeing any change in their position as they move in this direction here, the X direction, we can call that. So let's turn the light off and get the, everything fired up. Okay, now at the moment, we because we're using this filament lamp to produce the electrons, you can see a little bit of light there. That white line is just light. And you'll see that that is undeflected by the electric field because light photons are not charged. Right, let's start accelerating the electrons then. And you'll start to see a distinct blue line appearing on that screen. That is showing us the path of the electrons. So we've got a nice distinct blue line there. At the moment, there's no, uh, there's no electric field between the plates, as I haven't increased, it, haven't increased the voltage there. So let's start increasing the voltage. Now you can see the blue line is deflecting upwards. So you can see that deflection. This is a stronger field, so because I've increased the voltage between the plates. You can see that's deflected further, and I'm now deflecting it further still. You might also be able to notice on the, hopefully the camera's picking this up, but the, that line has become less succinct. It's blurred because the, there's a number of pathways being followed by the electrons, and that's because the electrons are not all coming from the filament at the same speed. They have different speeds, the so slower ones have a, are showing a larger deflection there than the faster ones. If I now decrease the field, you'll see the electrons going back to a straight line. And you noticed as well, if I increase the deflection, that the light from the filament is still not deflected. They're, the electrons are being deflected, they're charged, but the light is not charged, so it's not being deflected. Let's leave the field at a constant value now, and I'll now change the speed on, of the electrons so we can see what happens then additionally. So this is slowing them down now, and you can see a larger deflection. and speeding them up. So it's a stronger field at, at the filament means they're exiting at that and entering the field at a faster speed. This is not circular motion. They're not traveling in a circular path because the force acting on the electrons is always perpendicular to the plates. So even though their velocity vector may change from being uh, parallel with the plate, so it's going upwards slightly, the force on them is still upwards, so it's not perpendicular to the velocity. 
and it's not towards the centre of the circular, the curvature. So sewing them down. That's the experiment with charged particles in a uniform electric field.